fellow friends, once again, hear the word of the Lord. And for this discussion, of our deliberation shall be on the time of Jacob's trouble. The time of Jacob's trouble. And for this, we'll go to Jeremiah chapter 30. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. He says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. The time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And um, if we go back to Genesis chapter 32, we'll find what Jacob's trouble, what it was like. All right? Genesis chapter 32 will tell us the experience that Jacob had. And every ch uh, child believing um, believer of God will go through a time of Jacob's trouble. Right? So if we go to uh, Genesis chapter 32, verse 9 to 12. And I'll read for you. And Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham, and God of my father Isaac, the Lord which said unto me, Return unto thy country, unto thy kindred, and I will deal well with thee. I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies, and of all the truth which thou hast shewed unto thy servant. For with my staff I passed over this Jordan, and now I am become two bands. So, you have to recognize your unworthiness. Now hear Jacob pray. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau. For I fear him, lest he will come and smite me and the mother with the children. Okay? And the voice says, And thou saidest, I will surely do thee good, and make thy seed as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered for multitude. And he lodged there that same night, and took off that which came to his hand a present for Esau his brother and it tells you what he took there and we go to verse 24 and Jacob was left uh, Jacob was left alone and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day that was Jacob's trouble he was fearful he couldn't go back because he and his uh, he broke off from his father-in-law he was heading forward where he's supposed to meet his brother who he had trespassed against before and robbed him of the birthright. And so now he was between the rock and a hard place. <clears throat> so, and he was asleep. And in the sleep, somebody attacked him. And so he was wrestling. And he thought he was wrestling for his life because probably he thought it was his brother who catch up on him and wanted to kill him. So he was using every might every ounce of power that he had every muscle to wrestle with this man until the breaking of the day and when he saw that he prevailed not against him he touched the hollow of his thigh and the hollow of jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him and he said let me go for the day breaketh and he said i will not let thee go except thou bless me you see so Jacob recognized that it was no ordinary man. He knew now it wasn't his brother. It was an angel of God. And so he asked for a blessing. He hold on. He said, I will never let go until you bless me. And so that was happened. Right? And, and he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men and has prevailed. You see so we see how Jacob now how God blessed Jacob Jacob wrestled and he overcame time of Jacob's trouble every child of God will have to wrestle with God and 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 decide to hold on and never let go right time of Jacob's trouble it's a troublesome time which every Christian will go through and you have to hold on right you have to hold on if you let go that's the end of it for you you cannot let go. Let us go to Daniel chapter 12 and see what the Lord tells us over there in the book of Daniel. Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel and see what the Lord tells us in Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and that there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time 
And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall, shall be found written in the book. Make sure your name is found written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And when the time of Jacob's trouble come, God will deliver you out of it. God will deliver you out of it. And he goes on a little further. He don't want to stop there. He says, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. So, the righteous shall be awakened to everlasting life, but the unsaved shall be awakened to, damn awakened to damnation. Friend, that's why you have to make it right with God now, not tomorrow. If you believe in Jesus, cast your full lot at the foot of the cross and cry out like Jacob, deliver me. I have no, I'm unworthy, but save me. That's what we have to do every day, every night, right? Time of Jacob's trouble is near upon us. You see what's happening in the Middle East? How uh, rebellion is spreading and governments are being brought down? We were warned all about these things. Let's go to Matthew chapter 24, verse 5 and 14. Matthew 24, verse 5 and 14. And hear what Jesus tells us over there. Okay. Matthew 24, verse 5. He says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Watch out for the false prophet. Right? And he shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that he be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence, and earthquakes in many places. Even yesterday, a mighty earthquake rocked. New Zealand remember and uh, that's not the big one yet and just last year about this time in January the mighty earthquake rock Haiti and over two and a half uh, over a quarter million people died in one day and Jesus says many earthquakes gonna come this is a sign of the time and and these are the beginning of sorrows he said this are just the beginning then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and he shall be hated of all nations for my sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Many so-called Christians shall turn against their, Christ, their fellow Christians and give them up for whatever reason. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Be careful who you listen to and what they tell you with these smooth doctrine, friend. But he that, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. He that endure to the end of the conflict, or he that endure to the end of his life on the side of right, Jesus says, shall be saved. All right, and we go to verse 21. He says, For, but for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. The time that we are living in is serious time, friend. And the Bible says, And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Have mercy, Jesus. Serious time is down upon us, friend. Serious time is down upon us. Let's go to verse 42 and 44 of the same Matthew chapter 24. Jesus warns us, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. Watch, be ready. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Watch, he says, and be ready, for in that hour that you think not the Son of Man cometh. May the Lord have mercy upon us. Friend, we need to take this thing seriously, right? Mark chapter 13, we find Jesus warns us. In Mark chapter 13 and verse uh, and verse 3, he tells us. Mark 13, 13. He said, And he shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. May God help us to be ready, to be ready to endure to the end. God bless your friend.